The Mechanism of Action for DATSCAN, Ioflupane I-123 Injection. In patients with a suspected Parkinsonian syndrome, or a PS, DATSCAN may be used as an adjunct to other diagnostic evaluations to help differentiate essential tremor, known as ET, from tremor due to PS. This video will help explain how DATSCAN works and how it can help in the evaluation process. Let's begin by reviewing the indications and use for DATSCAN. DATSCAN is a radiopharmaceutical indicated for striatal dopamine transporter visualization using single photon emission computed tomography, or SPEC. Brain imaging to assist in the evaluation of adult patients with a suspected PS. DATSCAN may be used to help differentiate ET from tremor due to PS, including idiopathic Parkinson's disease multiple system atrophy, and progressive supranuclear palsy. These three conditions have all been associated with dopamine transporter degeneration in the brain. That scan is an adjunct to other diagnostic evaluations and was not designed to distinguish among these three conditions. Additionally, the effectiveness of DATSCAN as a screening or confirmatory test and for monitoring disease progression or response to therapy has not been established. DATSCAN is an adjunct to other diagnostic evaluations. It's important to note that DATSCAN is contraindicated in patients with known hypersensitivity to the active substance, any of the excipients, or iodine. In clinical trials, headache, nausea, vertigo, dry mouth, or dizziness of mild to moderate severity were reported. In post-marketing experience, hypersensitivity reactions and injection site pain have been reported. To understand how DATSCAN works, it's important to understand the role of the dopamine transporter, also known as DAT. Dopamine is a key neurotransmitter involved in the modulation of movement and is located in specific areas of the brain, including the striatum, which is affected in Parkinsonian syndromes. Dopamine-containing neurons project from the substantia nigra to the basal ganglia. Parkinsonian syndromes, such as Parkinson's disease, or PD, have been associated with a marked loss of dopamine neurons in the substantia nigra. During normal dopaminergic neurotransmission, dopamine molecules are released into the synaptic cleft and activate postsynaptic neurons. Dopamine is then removed from the synaptic cleft via DAT reuptake. DATs are membrane proteins located on the surface of functional presynaptic neurons. In a normal SPECT study, the ioflupane radiopharmaceutical molecules in DAT scan bind to the DATs, which are present on presynaptic neurons in the striatum. Because there are a normal number of intact neurons with a normal number of intact DATs, this binding results in a normal SPECT pattern, comma or crescent-shaped activity in the region of the striatum bilaterally. In non-PS patients with essential tremor or other non-neurodegenerative conditions in whom dopaminergic neurons are intact, the same normal SPECT pattern appears. In patients with Parkinsonian syndromes, there is neuronal degeneration and loss of dopaminergic neurons in the striatum so there are fewer receptors available for ioflupane I-123 to bind to. Therefore, when these patients undergo SPECT imaging, the ioflupane molecules bind to far fewer DAT proteins in the striatum. This results in decreased ioflupane I-123 binding, which produces an abnormal SPECT pattern, one or more period or oval shapes, as well as reduced image intensity on one or both sides of the brain. In summary, DATSCAN binds to presynaptic striatal DAT. SPECT with DATSCAN visualizes DAT on striatal dopaminergic neurons, the absence of which appears as absence of signal in the SPECT image. PS is associated with a loss of DAT. A normal SPECT scan appears as a comma or crescent shape and is indicative of possible non-PS. An abnormal SPECT scan appears as a period or oval shape and is indicative of a possible PS. See the important safety information that follows. 